This faceless YouTube channel earns $23,000 every month with very simple YouTube shorts. In fact, I produce 300 of the same YouTube short videos in under 30 minutes. In this video, you will learn how you can use ChatGPT and Canva to create 300 shorts in just 30 minutes if you want to open your own faceless YouTube channel and start earning big money. So let's get straight to the point. Of course, ChatGPT is going to the first place we go. In this video, I'll teach you the proper way to set up ChatGPT to create love quotes that suit a particular style. With the first part that intrigues viewers to see the second part. To illustrate this, I'm going to provide ChatGPT two examples. For instance, if you really love someone, you have to let it go. To confirm that ChatGPT understands the task, I'll ask it for confirmation if it does. I now want these quotes to focus on topics like love, heartbreak, and friendship, and I'm giving ChatGPT in specific target audience. Let's ask it for an example to check whether it understands. Excellent, it feels like ChatGPT understands. It's important to keep in mind that if ChatGPT produces something you like, be sure to let it know, it will pay attention and build on it further. The videos I want to make are divided into three sections, a topic such as boy or girl fact, the first part of the quote, and then comes the second part. So I'd like ChatGPT to generate quotes in the exact same way with a theme, a first portion, and a second portion. I'll request that ChatGPT organize them in an Excel-like format. This is an important step, and you will find out why later in the video. I want to include some heartbreak quotes as well. These always create an emotional connection with people. Let's try asking ChatGPT to generate 100 unique quotes. Okay, I'll skip this part. However, it comes down to the fact that ChatGPT cannot generate 100 quotes at once. After some brief conversation, we came to an understanding, and it was ready to give us 20 quotes at once. We'll get to 300 this way. It will only take a little longer, and taking the time to keep this AI friendly is absolutely important. So for you, only ask it to generate 20 quotes, and then ask it to generate 20 more until you get an adequate number of quotes. Okay, now you want to copy and paste all of the quotes into Excel. And as you can see, I have 320 unique quotes generated by ChatGPT. So let's begin to create some fancy YouTube shorts with Canva. Go to Canva.com and then select Mobile Video. On the left side you'll see the design section. Here you can select from a variety of templates. You can look for templates according to your project. There are several templates that fit my description as you can see, but I think this one will suit me the most, so I will select it. Our goal is to match the quote style of those YouTube shorts that we previously watched. Here you can see, I have to delete these elements because I do not need this type of element in this video. So right click and delete. We need to put the theme text such as girl facts, boy facts, and friend facts somewhere towards the top of the video. Go to text and click on add a heading. Fix the position, write the theme text such as girl fact, and then adjust the size. The quotes will be in the middle, and at the bottom, I'll add the YouTube channel name where the shorts will be posted. To do that, you have to click on add a subheading, then just type your YouTube channel name, adjust the size and position, just like that. Now let's add a quote to see how it looks. However, as you know, the quotes are always divided into two parts. So I'll right click on this and click duplicate to make a second text block. I'm going to drag it down a bit for now like this. Now click on the first part, then go to Excel to copy the first part of the quotes. Again, come back to Canva and paste that. Repeat this step with the second part, and there you have it. This part was added by mistake, so I will delete it. As you can see, the font is not looking so good, so I will change this by clicking there. Here, you can find many fonts to choose from. For this type of video, I will choose Canva Sans. Because it's difficult to read the quotes, we need to create an outline. To do that, we need to go to the Effects section, select Outline, adjust the thickness, and choose the color you want. For now, I am going to select black. You can manually do the same process with the second part, or you can try out this trick. What you need to do is simply select the first part, then click on the three dots at the top right corner, click on Copy Style, and select the second part, and it's done. One thing to note is that all of the text in this template has animations added to them. I don't want animations in this type of video, therefore I'll remove them from all of the text blocks. Now I want to add background to my theme text. So I will go to Effect, select Background, and then adjust the necessary option as you like. In the same way, I'm going to change the background and the color of the channel name to make it look very professional. The videos I want to create are divided into two parts. The first 8 seconds show the first portion of the quote, followed by a 1 second delay before revealing the second part of the quote, which lasts approximately 1.5 seconds. This is because 1.5 seconds is too fast for people to read, so they will watch the video again, giving you a high watch time and resulting in YouTube promoting your video to a much larger audience. Next, right-click on the first half of the quote and select Show Timing. 
This will show the duration and location of the text in the video. The first half of the quote must be 8 seconds long, followed by a 1 second pause, and then the second half of the quote will start at the 9 second mark. The second half of the quote should only take around 1.5 seconds, and then we want the video to end. Drag the video's end to the end of the second part of the quote. Finally, we want to send it the second part of the quote that displays on the screen, and our work is done. Let's see how it comes out. Perfect. Now our video template is completed. Here comes the real magic, and it's not like you'd see in a David Copperfield show. We're going to import the quote database into Canvas so I can create hundreds of different shorts with only a few clicks. Go to the Apps menu on the left, then search for Bulk Create. Select Enter Data Manually and Clear All Data. Then, copy your quote list from Excel. For now, I'll just enter 30 and you'll find out why soon. I'll paste them into Canva along with their names. As you can see, we have the first 30 quotes in, so we can click Done. The next step is to link all the different texts to the appropriate pots of the video. Right-click on the text in the video and select Connect Data. Now select the right piece of data you want to be shown in the text. This section will be used as the theme. So we choose theme. We must drag the second half of the quote down to get to the first half. For the first half of the quote, we select first part. For the second half, we select second part. Once you've connected all of the data pieces, place the second part back in the center of the video and we're ready to get started. All of the data now has a purple check mark on the left, indicating that we are ready for producing the shorts video. Click continue, then generate 30 pages, and we've got 30 YouTube shorts with different quotes. The only drawback is that each shorts has the same background. You can also manually change this by going to the menu bar on the left and choosing elements. Here, you can search for many different videos and select the one you want. Click on the three dots at the top of the video and select replace background. Just keep in mind that the new video will have the same duration as the video you selected for the background. So, if it's a two minute video, you're in for a lengthy ride. So when you change the background, you'll have to change the length again. But I'm not going to do this 300 times, and I don't need different backgrounds for each of the 300 videos. This brings us back to the reason I didn't create the 300 videos all at once, because you can't do that. Now you can go to Share and select Download. Choose your desired quality and select Download Pages as separate files and you're done. Now all that's left to do is repeat these steps 8 more times, and you'll have 300 great YouTube shorts in just 30 minutes. Let me know what should I do with all of these shorts. Maybe I'll post them all in 30 days and see what happens. If you have any ideas, please leave them in the comments section. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe, because there is definitely more coming up. Until the next time, take care.